you know, we got businesses down here that we that we're trying to make a living, an honest living. But you know, we can't make an honest living if nobody don't come. A staple in Pritchard could be closing for good next month. Yeah, between the pandemic, inflation, and violent crime, Big White Wings owner Maurice White says he just can't keep the doors open. Mm. Fox 10 News' Shelby Meyer is in studio with us right now with more on the story. Yeah, Shelby, he tells you he's struggling just mm. to keep his head above water. Yeah, Lenise and Byron, just two years ago, he had state and national recognition for the best wings in Alabama. Well, as we all know, a lot happened in those two years, and now he might just have to close up shop. Big White Wings in the heart of Pritchard has been serving up what some say are the best wings in Alabama since 2016. Now, that seems like a distant memory for owner Maurice White. If you see now, I used to be packed at this time of the evening right here. Uh, since the murders and the activities been happening in on uh, Whistler Avenue, now my, uh, my business is gone, slapped down. White says his lease is up next month and he might be forced to close his doors for good. He blames it on a trifecta of reasons. Crime, a worker shortage because of the pandemic, and now inflation is spiking prices on his top seller, Wings. Products is so high right now, you can't, you can't afford it. So you have to bring your, you have to bring your food, you have to bring your, your value up a little higher just to make a dollar. But then we're in Pritchard. You know what I mean? I can't take it up too much because I hardly nobody ain't got nothing. Yeah. So, you know, so I have to, I have to make a decision of what I need to do. I mean, step back for a minute and just see what else I can come up with. But losing big white wings in Pritchard could be a huge hit for the community. When times have gotten tough before, White has stepped in to fill the gap, giving away free food during the pandemic and offering free lunch to kids at a nearby daycare before that. When I was all good. I made sure everybody else was all right. But this time I need help. White hopes city leaders and the community can show their support for small business in Pritchard before it's too late. You know, we got businesses down here that we that we're trying to make a living, an honest living. But you know, we can't make an honest living if nobody don't come. Now, you may remember we talked about this before. White had plans to open up a second store in downtown Mobile as part of that box out container park. But he says because of unemployment checks during COVID, he just couldn't find enough workers to help him out downtown and also keep the Pritchard store up and running. Guys.